What's going on guys, Burrito here, and today we're back with another YouTube video. So today I'm going to be going over how to make an audit logs in your server, and how we're going to configure it, how you, what you want to be inside of it, and what bot we're going to use for it. So let's jump right into it. Alrighty, so today we're going to be using the Me6 bot. I know that there are a ton of different other bots that let you do audit logs, but I think Me6 is the most simple, and it is a very good starter to start off of. So you're going to press Add to Discord, and if you don't have it in your Discord, that's completely fine. You're just going to go to the dashboard. But today I'm going to be inviting it to my test server, so all you have to do is authorize that I am Burrito, and that I'm giving it all of its correct permissions. Do a little CAPTCHA, and you're good to go. So you guys are going to see that once it's added to your Discord, or you press go to the dashboard, either way, it's going to send you strictly to your dashboard. Um, so we're going to go on to the moderator plugin, and we, uh, you guys can set up all your moderator roles, this and the other, but we're going to be focusing on the logging channel for today. So we have to go back into our Discord, and we're going to make the audit logs channel. Alrighty, I made the audit logs channel, and I keep it in my staff category, even though it's open to everyone, I don't have any members in the server, but if we go into my main server, Ultimate Gaming Lounge, you guys can see that this is the audit logs and it is just it's only open to staff so that's what i recommend you guys doing because you guys don't really want members to be messing around with staff situations so try to restrict that but back to me six we're going to set the logging channel and if you guys don't see it there then just refresh your page but i see it so we're good to go i'm going to press save and now this is where we get into the nitty gritty Alrighty, so you guys can see a lot of the premium stuff there's premium, and uh, other than that, it's not really much premium. That's why I like Me6 a lot. It's The premium version is very, 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 very useful, but is a lot of the features are very custom and very standard, so you don't need to get premium to be able to use the full bot. So back to what, our, what we were doing. This is where you decide what you want in your audit logs channel. Alrighty, so you guys can see that there are many different categories. We have moderation events. We have message events, which is premium, so we're not going to be going over this right now. We have member events, role events, voice events, server events, and channel events. Alright, so I'm going to explain all of these and what they mean and all the stuff inside of it and what I recommend. So, for moderation events, this is anything that a moderator, aka any of your staff members, anything that they do. So when a member is muted, unmuted, banned, or unbanned. Alright, so I recommend... Um, the the ban, unban, and the muted. I don't really care about the unmuted, honestly, because, I don't know. Personally, I just don't really care that much. So, that's what I recommend. For the message events, I'm just going to skim over this. This is when a message is updated. So, that means when it is sent and the owner edits it. When a message is deleted, whether the owner or a moderator deletes it. And then when an invite is posted. Yikes. So, the invite is also a uh, server invite premium feature so once you get the premium it is uh i recommend getting premium for me six it is very useful i'm gonna be doing a video on that in the future it's a very secure bot and it secures your server very well but back on to member events this is anything that a member does to themselves uh or does in the server so this is when uh they change their nickname or a staff member changes their nickname i recommend that uh when a member is banned like we did earlier i don't really care that much so uh i'm gonna or I'm going to keep them on because since they're there, might as well keep them there. They do do the same thing, so it's your choice. If you unclick them, then you already have them checked up here. So it doesn't matter that much. But there's no reason not to have them. So when a member joins the server and leaves, I don't care about that because you can edit that in the welcome plugin up there. And then when a user is updated. That is when their roles are updated, when their uh, username is changed, when their tag is changed, anything like that. Then, role events. Like I said earlier, this is anything that happens to a role or to a member that has a role. So when a role is created, I keep that. When a role is updated, I keep that. When a role is deleted, I keep that. And when member roles change. So, this is when a role is obviously created, when permissions of a role changes, and then when a role is deleted. So I make sure that I keep all these on just to prevent uh, any uh, people deleting roles by accident or making themselves roles. So, I keep everything tracked. 
for voice events. I do not have this on at all because when you have a lot of people in your server, people tend to join voice channels all the time. So it is very uh, repetitive and annoying when you see this clogged in your audit logs channel. So I recommend not having that. Server events. Anything that happens to your server. Definitely check off server edited. That is when you change the time zone, when you change the name. All of that. Keep that on. Emojis updated. When someone edits an emoji, whether they add one, delete one, configure one, whatever it is, I like it because I like emojis. That is all your discretion right here. That does not matter that much. Channel events. When a channel is created, yes. When a channel is updated, so when the permissions of a channel is updated, yes. When a channel is deleted, I say yes as well. So pretty much everything is going to be checked off except for the voice events, member left and joined, and then unmuted, and then the message events. So pretty much log everything that you can and make sure it's not repetitive. And other than that, you're, you're pretty much good to go. So once you have all these updated, uh, you might want to set your moderator's role afterwards. But that's not really needed right now. We're going to go to the Discord. And you guys can see our audit logs right here is right here. So what can we do uh, to see? We're going to ban a bot. All right. So we're going to ban Groovy and see if it pops up just to make sure. This is a test. Boom. Role deleted. It didn't say they were banned because I don't think it's registered as a member because it was a bot. But we can see that. Uh, oh, there we go. It actually does register as a member. So we can see that the audit logs is working perfectly fine. So that's how you set up an audit logs channel. If you guys need help, obviously just DM me like this guy, Madman. He DM'd me. Uh, I can always help you guys in DMs or my server. You guys can go to the tech support channel right here and you guys can always ask your own questions do whatever you want in there uh we have staff always helping in here so do what you want dm me don't dm me ask questions in the comment section i don't really care that much i'll always help you guys so this is ultimate burrito from ultimate gaming lounge and i hope you guys have an ultimate day i'll catch you around